Welcome back. As fire season comes to an end, officials are lifting a special order that pertain to homeless people in the city. Newswave's reporter Liza Escabius is live at Surfrider Beach with an update. Liza? Thanks, Joe. Where I am here at Surfrider Beach was a homeless encampment just a few weeks ago. County and state park officials swiftly took care of this and removed the encampment here and one at Malibu Creek. This came at the same time that local Malibu leaders decided not to move forward with a local emergency order regarding homeless encampments. In mid-January, Malibu lifted its state of emergency over homeless encampment fire risk, which began in December 2022. All council members, except Mayor Bruce Silverstein, voted in favor of the change. So in my view, until Mother Nature does something different or the state finds a way to protect the Santa Monica Mountains from wildfire, we are in a state of emergency in Malibu. City Public Safety Liaison Luis Flores was a site coordinator for the 2023 homelessness count around Malibu, and he says reducing the number of individuals living on the streets has decreased wildfires. There's direct correlation with kind of, you know, homeless count numbers and, and fires. So we try to keep, you know, that number as low as possible. Flora said in 2021, there were 23 fires caused by homeless encampments and 157 homeless individuals. But in 2022, there were only four fires and 81 unhoused individuals, highlighting the pattern. So we've been kind of making great strides in that front, uh, very proactively and service oriented when we address homelessness as well. On January 25th, the 2023 count took place, and although official numbers are not public yet, Flores said the pattern appeared to be following the downward trajectory. It's been leaving a lasting impact, thankfully. Flores says the city's fire risk cannot be ignored, and that's where education comes in, as the city does its part to reduce the number of unhoused individuals around Malibu. So basically, the whole city's prone to you know, uh, wildfires. Uh, so we have these kind of ongoing conversations with these individuals living in these brushes and these canyons and hillsides areas and um, just, you know, make sure that they're educated. While the homeless camp that was here is not in a fire prone area, it was still significant. I'm told that six truckloads of materials, including over a dozen shopping carts were removed, were just prior to the annual homeless count. Back to you in the studio. Thank you for that report, Liza.